la serie dei grandi gondoli. The Lomax series of large inflatable boats is enriched with a new model, the Gran Turismo 11. We are well aware of the prerogatives of the Gran Turismo series, which combines performance with comfort, but this inflatable boat has something more to offer. Ha qualcosa in più. A large cabin to enjoy a magical night at Roadstead or to simply relax during the day in the shade in a more comfortable way. Obviously, the bathroom is separated and set up with a shower. The designer is Federico Fiorentino, who managed to preserve the family feeling and the sportiness despite the fact that the formwork is larger. This new windshield blends perfectly with the T-top. The windows on the formwork and on the roof reduce the presence of fiberglass to the advantage of aesthetic lightness. The wider console has several advantages, more space for instruments and more wind protection. The deck is covered with a sun pad. The bow sprit is made of teak and the retractable cleats underline the aesthetic and functional care of the boarding and mooring area as well. To make this raised deck safer, which gives space and volume to the cabin below, they raised a side gunwale above the tubular. When choosing a sporty boat, it is important to ensure that the driving position is also appropriate. But the passengers should also feel safe. High backrests and well-padded seats. An opening passage leads to the swimming platform. The fittings are also carefully thought out in detail, such as the design handrail at the stern. Under the T-top, the kitchen cabinet can be set up as you like. And below, we have a large fridge. At the stern, between the seats, you can add a top with cushions and form a sun deck here as well. The side passengers are quite wide and have a gunwale as well as handrails. The sun awning is hidden under the sofas when it's not used. Now, let's stop thinking about whether we like this inflatable boat or not. Now, let's focus on performance. For some months now, the waters in front of Genoa have been rough, the sky has been cloudy, it often rains and there has always been a Scirocco wind. And today, the situation is inevitably the same. The fact is that when fishing boats return to port, and it's not yet the end of the fishing time, maybe it's because the weather conditions are getting worse. But we have a well-built boat. The hull and deck are made of infusion of vinyl ester resin, and to create a lighter T-top, they used aramid fibers. On the transom, there are two 300-horsepower Mercury engines, but according to the type approval, they could have as much as 700 horsepower. Overall, meaning a pair of 350-horsepower engines, the choice of the brand is on you. It is useless to tell you the planing speed because at 10 to 11 knots it is already stretched out on the water, the wake is detached from the stern and when I accelerate the condition just improves. This means that the boat rises but remains parallel to the surface. Perfect. So let us try this Lomac Gran Turismo 11. They chose a very sporty setup. The outboards have been raised on the transoms as much as possible. And this could lead to cavitation problems while veering, for example. Oh, 
3,250 RPM on the right engine and 3,250 on the left one. There's no cavitation. Let me take a look at the cabin. There is Gigi down there. He's very calm, despite the waves. So, let's get some consumption data, in case you're interested, and I'm assuming you are. Our speed is 25 knots, and we're consuming 2.4, 2.3 litres per mile. But this is a sporty inflatable, made to go fast. I don't think you'll be going at 25 knots. So here we are, 30 knots, fuel consumption of 2.8 litres per mile, there's an excellent comfort in navigation and the trim is still low. What I find interesting is that without raising the angle of the engines, the inflatable continues to sail completely submerged from bow to stern. This way, I don't pitch and I feel great. And we're at 40 knots. Wow. But now is the time to raise the trim. The wake, which was previously coming up to the bow, now moves to the middle of the boat. To where you can't feel the waves. It's fabulous. Let's keep raising the trim. Can you see that it's not bouncing? And we're at 46 knots. But is everything okay down there in the cabin? Because in the front, the waves are a bit more intense. We know that speed at sea is dangerous, that it takes some experience to drive over 40 knots. But this Gran Turismo 11 is so safe, so perfect on the waves, that I think it could even be suitable for those who approach a boat for the first time, despite its speed.